ladies and gentlemen, support for this podcast, as always, is brought to us by our boys at xbrain.co.uk and a promo code Fighting Words to save 20% off your order at checkout. Shout out to the patrons, patreon.com Fighting Words. We've been doing some more patrons. stuff on there. Love the patrons. Uh, Market Squawk, powered by livesquawk.co.uk, also supports this podcast. Come and go as you please. Any asset class, data, low latency, ah, whatever you want. Um, Samuel, you've just done your first uh, real big boy guest one. I have. Minus. Wait, got what a microphone. Is. International got a microphone. podcast star. You got I'm a mic. now a professional podcaster. You are now a professional podcaster. Uh, can hear the difference. elated were you about last night? Because I know you went and saw Creed 3, where you saw Jesse's favourite reaching a peak of fame and adulation and respect. Respect is the big thing because Mick Queen is in Creed 3. And if I remember from what I've seen in the trailers, she was very, very classic in her standard <clears throat> with, her, with her leggings that are pulled all the way up to her <gasps> face. Oh, you might have to bleep that one out. We're listening. <laughs> With a yeah, with her leggings that are pulled all the way up to her neck like a roll neck. Fact, vibes. No idea what she's doing in there. Is well, it... I do know what she's doing in there. Not good. No bueno. Jesse, have you Is seen it, it yet? Of course, we, of course oh. we haven't. He's he's been doing things. There's and there's a lot of things. um Chris Maddox in the um the final fight. Really? Ah, really? oh, Mick Queen and him. Is I, I thought because they had um I'm they had um, if I do see it. Uh, Mauro Ronaldo commentating on one of the fights, and I was like, "Oh, that, that's a class!" Because he's like one of my favourite commentators. I think he's great. Yeah, he is. But, um, Massive mm-hmm. drug addict, though, isn't he? Mauro Ronaldo. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I, I think, think he, he just. I, f- I think he loves a little bit of the old pills. I think he's I'm... got some real problems. I think but he's got some got demons. Biscuits. Yeah. yeah. Well, he left. Um, he was in WWE for a while, and he left there because of his because of mental health, and then. Was at UFC, then went back to WWE. And now I think he's he does UFC and some American shows, doesn't he? Respect. And Give so us was... a... no, hey, shut up, shut up. Give us a review of Crade Three. Great, I really enjoyed the the boxing scenes in it. Like the actual boxing itself looked amazing. It was yeah, like it was all though. shot in like because everyone ultra... says that, and then I see boxing and TV and film, and I just no, it was, it's, it's come a long way from like the Rocky fights. But um, mm. what about the fights in Creed One and Creed Two? Is it better than them? From a visual point of view, yeah. Yeah, do you not remember Ewan when he was tanked up the other night saying about something to do with like Dragon Ball Z or something? Mm-hmm. Like, there's, there's a B, lot of good cameos. B. Jordan's yeah. a massive anime fan, and he's done it that way or something. I don't know. Yeah, I heard that as well, actually. Whatever. No, it was good. It was really we, good. And that's when we spoke about him being in a film when he was a kid about baseball. That's about all I remember of that. Yeah, yeah, it was one of them nights. Out of five, Sam. Uh, out of five, I'd I'd give it a solid. I, I I'd say all three of the movie, uh, Creed movies are a solid five. Wow, five. I think That's they're all right. great movies. So you're saying it's up there with like Seven Samurai and Pulp Fiction and films like that? I haven't watched either of them. Yeah, sure. Right, all good. Um, anyway, <laughs> Misfits. So let's return. Can we talk, back I was going to gonna say, can we talk about the serious, serious, serious sport, which is tag team boxing? Okay, so number one, number one, L Brooks, surprisingly good um, hostess and surprisingly good just in general as like an MC, showrunner. She did something cetera. with... Um, she used to microphone shaped things. She she did a podcast today with um, Big John. Guess what it was called? Brawn Hub. I don't mind Amazing. That. I don't mind that. One more time, what's it called? Brawn Hub. Brawn Hub. We're that's, gonna make sure that YouTube doesn't think I'm saying anything else. That's genius. I have a lot of time for that. Um yeah. she has she she's actually a bit of a salt. She was behind me at the getting yeah, the tickets you, when we went to the Mayweather. She's close to being a forest imp, isn't she? Yeah, yeah you've she, said that now on three different podcasts. Well it's, she's alarmingly her head is alarmingly big. Right, alarmingly big. But she's a salt. <laughs> Good body of work. Respect. Well, Tag team uh, boxing. Before I forget, very, very quickly, they they did her hit list 
And her hit list were like three. I think Astrid Wett was on there. Yeah. Birth name, obviously. But Ronda Rousey was on there. And I was like, well, that's a bad idea. And then the top one Sushi. is is Jesse's girl. Su- yeah, Sushi. Sushi. You know, the Polish vampire. Polish vampires. Yeah, the oh, vampire what, with, girl. Uh, with all the tats. Yeah, that's had yeah, like MMA and f fights. Covered in blood at all times. It's definitely never her blood. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't go there. That's going to go badly. She's also a full 5'10 or something like that. So. Terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Uh, but, hey, you know what? Maybe I had a couple of quote-unquote drinks. Maybe I was watching it on the iPad for a complete on Twitter. viewer. I, I tried. I tried. And then I just couldn't be bothered anymore. <laughs> so, tag team. Well, no, Have you seen actually, it yet, Jess? Yeah, I watched yeah, the, the only thing that was on YouTube for it was like, chopped up highlights about eight yeah. minutes worth you enjoy it. the fight it... but wait hold on i've got a few questions i've got a few questions yeah all right number one what's a ginty what's it what, a tiktoker it... that is famous for saying you silly boy okay that's and he has, he does. He has that one of the was that yeah, one of the had... opposition yeah that was the geezer who had the obviously we were always was the gonna have to who be read, team like... yeah. loving he he was the one that had like a uterus. It was very strange. Wait, no, G- yeah. Ginty wasn't in the tag team fight. No, 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 no. Was before that, I'm, oh. no, I'm asking. Oh. These are my questions. Before we get oh, into okay. the, the, the main substance of that card, yeah, yeah, right. Ginty, no idea what that was. Then there was a halal ham. Fine, sure, all good. Before that, there was a geezer who kind of looks like he could be Johnny Fisher's cousin, called Tempo Arts. Okay. Tempo Arts. Yeah, is he the dislocation dude? Yeah, he fought a dude who looked shook on the way in. He ate a couple of right hands and he wanted nothing to do with it. And he said, "Oh yeah, my shoulder's dislocated," and quit. Were they were they, were they the heavies? <laughs> I don't know what they were. I think though, I think so. I think, I think he was. A, what, he's yeah. he just called out uh, True Geordie. He wants to fight True Geordie. Mm. What one? The one that's shoulder got dislocated? No, 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 no. The one no, that the won. Other one. Oh, I don't know the really one that what that did dislocate him. Yeah, 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 mate. It was it was carnage. Dean the Great can actually fight. I've got no problem yep. with Dean. All good. Uh, there was a gentleman called King Kenny, who I believe yep. is Daly's little brother. Uh, and and he, he lost, lost to someone called Ash Raksu or Raksu, something. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And then and then here Pretending we are. like he doesn't know. He, he knows all of them off by heart. Well, okay, so do you remember <laughs> when we first started the mini clips and like you, you, you gave me a little something, and I remembered there and then because of the tism. Yeah. Obviously, I will remember those people's names until yep. the day I die, which is a curse. <laughs> and that is a proper curse. curse. All right. In the tag teams, Jesse Page. What? <laughs> like. <laughs> so there's a bit of there's a bit of um. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. Forgive me, Alan, right, it, for I have sinned for what I'm about to say. It was fun. It was fun I as shit. I mind don't mind the idea of that with these misfit guys. <laughs> it was fun as shit, right? The best do you know what? Part. That suits it more. Like, like the tag team stuff. They should do a Royal Rumble. They should do the lot. Oh, I'll be a show. Like, 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 do you know what? That is what that stuff should be. Give them, 50, no. give them 16 ounce gloves, though. But like... That oh, is what that, that is, and that keeps it in its own lane. And Royal I Rumble don't mind on that a party boat in Ibiza. Yeah, oh. Royal Rumble boxing. So, in hardcore in the, hardcore boxing, out the, the consensus ring and all that for the class. Did they know that when you were tagging, you are the single most vulnerable <laughs> that you've ever been in a boxing <laughs> ring, and that is they on didn't them. Think the ta- they, they didn't did think not, the tagging through right? at all. Because those two boys, whoever like, I don't remember their names, because all I saw was Mexican McLovin ice, and B. Mexican McLovin is a superstar ice, now. That was ice, what one of them was called. Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon. If I see which one was ice that? The Poseidon, one. That, the one. Wait, they both got taller. One of the two. If I see Ice Poseidon, I am power slap league in that geezer into oblivion. Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon. Wow. I That's reckon we should do a video of you calling him out. I've just called him out and I'll fight him now. 
What do you think, like, no, seriously. So when they tag, they're tagging in a point of sheer terror and desperation where all they want yeah, to do yeah. is be saved. It was, and they save think, me. Oh, I just remember there's a moment where McLovin's battering one of them facts. and he tries to tag out. His boy leans back and don't let him tag yeah. him. He's like, no, Maybe, I don't want none of that. Neither of them could have got in, like, wanted to get in, did they? <laughs> That's the single They were like, no, part. McLovin's piecing us up, boy. <laughs> Right, McLovin came out. He's a superstar in a luchador mask. Yep, he came out. He proceeded to just punch the granny out of whatever that one's name was. And then he tagged out and he's like, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. His boy jumped in getting confident as well. And he he was. That was the thing. Why are they? They could have done a two on one. Why do they think they basically did? did. They just sent out. Whatever the the geezer that fought and lost before at to just do some steaming, the moulet. Uh, I I have no idea why they think that they can do this. This is this is the thing that I don't. I, yeah, I, can't, what, I think I can't it's the compute. same mentality of like you know like when you go on a night out and there's always that one mate that no. thinks that he can. <laughs> no. um, there's always that one mate who thinks he can chin everyone in the um, the bar after like two Jaeger bombs. Yeah, but uh, the difference being that that's alcohol and that's instant and you don't follow it up. This is something that they've at least had like maybe a month, two months worth of prep. So they will have so sparred, they will have been beaten up. They will have, they, like, the reality of it will have hit them eventually on the way up to it. So maybe it's just when when you've got the clout and, that, and all the followers, you think you can do anything. True. Maybe, Maybe it's just like pure like, delusion from fame. They've just got yes men around them as well, probably. Like they're just sparring with like twelve year olds. It was incredible and I enjoyed it because Pineda, aka Mexican McLovin, was in there to do damage on them too, wasn't he? He That's one what of the most I enjoyed in with yeah. proper intent. He's one of the most yeah. popular boxers in the UK now. Fine, respect. For but sure. He, he's he, he, he loves to him. the misfits to the misfits crowd. He is bigger than Junior uh, to Julio Cesar Chavez. Yeah, he's he's yeah he's there. Chavez. He is the Mexican, the uh, reimagining. I want to be in the crowd of... and just Pineda, Pineda the whole night. It was amazing. It was. He's come a long way. Quite the spectacle. He is Do you still want to see two, more two and... Yes. Unequivocally, yes. I will watch With that. Belts. I don't care about the belts because the belts mean nothing because the belts are made by the same company that w- at the Floyd show was making the gloves. That I wonder um, if uh, I'll be designing the next ones. Apparently there's been someone going around saying that he, he's been taking credit for those belts that are designed for Misfits saying that he designed them. Oh no. Maybe you should offer him out on Misfits. Me and Maybe Jessica. I should. I think you should. I'll see him in the Royal Rumble when I be for Pure, pure Khan's diet rage. <laughs> so we've got New Orleans next in April. No, Orleans. Is there another tag in it? Hopefully. I hope so, because that will actually make me watch something of it. It's big. Like, it's so invested. Yeah. Would you be takes... up for like a like a whole night of tag team boxing, like a whole show? Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah, but I think... Uh, as long like, as it's I... as wildly matched as that. Yeah, uh, I want to watch. I want to watch McLovin piece people up constantly. That's hilarious. Yeah, he was there to hurt people. Uh, how, about, yeah. how about this? No more than what you would get on a typical WWF show. Yeah, well, that's is about two, three. Yeah, fine, fine, because it's it's just a spectacle at that point. It's would... madness, absolute madness. It was like watching the inside of Cali Sutherland's head <laughs> at any given time. Hopefully we'll get time. some we'll get some trios boxing soon, and then we can we can properly do the fighting words, fighting words team. Trios. You can't do trios; it's carnage. They need to um, right. they need to work out because if the ref Tagging is a little bit no, nah, if the ref is a little bit um, slow on the uptake, you are getting pummeled as you you're are trying taking to get at the level. Well, yeah. It's meant to be. I'm pretty sure the rules said like you can't tag you can't tag out while like you're mid. Fight like you have to be when they're not punching. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's quite hard to do that one, especially when Pineda's yeah. desperately trying to bash the granny at you. Yeah, it was. When you got the animal that is got Pineda's eighteen staring. foot long arms as well. Do you know what I liked most about him? What impressed me the most about Mexican McLovin 
is that he tagged in B Dave just for the finish. Like literally, yeah, yeah. he had, he had just, done he just everything. Went, there you go, son. Yeah. <laughs> he Laying literally sunned up. him off, just sent him in. He gave it the up and then he just came in and just went, have that. It was would, you do, would you do that for me if when, when we start tagging? Yeah, of course I would. Okay. I'll, I'll come, come off the top rope. Yeah, it's, it's going to end. I didn't quite understand what the woman was bringing in Ice Poseidon and, I don't know, Ice Sick. Why did, is she the one that was trying to get up in the ring midway through? Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, was yeah. that? Because we'll I only I saw know. like the abridged version. I thought I thought that was um, someone come out of the crowd, didn't they? Nah, that was the woman that brought, walked them down. Oh, yeah. Who walked, in, who walked in McGlovin and the Mexican misfits? Just him and B Dave in his bus. Just him and yeah, listening to bangers. We need more leech. We need more leech and masks in boxing. Do you think? Yeah, I I think Lara needs one. Who's Lara? What Mauricio? Yeah. Oh, mate, I don't want Mauricio Lara in a luchador mask. That's, he's scary enough. He yeah, don't need don't anything nothing. more. Uh, this might actually be quite a short one because there hasn't been that much in the way of fist this, this, this weekend. There was the US card where Hurd got stopped in 10 rounds on Again. a lip cut. Uh, there was a, a vicious knockout on the, the Dizone Mexico card, but it's what it is. Miss Connor Manny. This weekend. Connor Manny, but we'll do, we'll do all of those in mini clips. You know what yeah. I mean? Patreon.com, Fighting Words, all of the mini clips go on there now, as well as on the YouTubes, but the audio only versions go on, on the Patreon because we listen to those sometimes. Uh, Sam, what's going on this week? So we've just done Linus. I think we've got Raven Chapman this week. Yep. Uh, we've got Sandy, Sandy Ryan. Sandy Ryan on Sunday coming up. That's a bit of a busy week, as well we've as got... maybe Big Steve Robinson, who's out in someone's training camp at the minute. So we might get him on as well. We're um, um yeah. Clip yeah. clips every day. Clips every day. Yeah, patreon.com, fighting words. Love you.